Hey there everybody, it's Stacy from Keizu Keto bringing you episode 14 of Cookbook Keto. This is what we're using this week. Anybody got any ideas what this is? Stick around and find out. So this is the web series where I learn how to cook. I'm choosing all the recipes by the way. But while I learn how to cook, I have a little bit of help from my mentor, I guess you could call him. And in addition to that, he and Nate get to make fun of me, judge, whatever. It's all in good fun. Stick around. To make it, you're gonna need shredded Parmesan cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese, ground chicken, chopped parsley, flat leaf Italian parsley, marinara sauce, garlic, onion powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper, sea salt, and chopped chives. So let's put it all together. All right, step number one, turn the oven on to 400 degrees. Start with two pounds of ground chicken. I do have more behind the scenes because as per usual, we're making two. To that, we are going to mix in a quarter cup of marinara sauce. We are using the Rouse four cheese four cloves of garlic, which we are using minced garlic. And as you know, the minced garlic, half a teaspoon, teaspoon, I said teaspoon, half a teaspoon is one clove. Two tablespoons of chopped flat leaf Italian parsley, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of onion powder. And last we have one and a half teaspoons of sea salt and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. So we're gonna get all this together. And as you'll notice, I have my gloves on. Because we're gonna get in here and mix it all up. That feels gross. So glad I have gloves. So if you're looking for this recipe, I'll have it linked down below, but it came from a website called Peace, Love, and Low Carb. You might be a little familiar with her. It's Kendra Holly. She has several keto cookbooks available, of which we have, how many? Three? Next up, we're gonna do the cheese mixture. So we have half a cup of mozzarella cheese, half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, one clove of garlic, or one half teaspoon, another two tablespoons of parsley, Italian flat leaf parsley, make sure you get that, two teaspoons of chopped chives, and one half cup of ricotta cheese. Then we're gonna get it all mixed up again. There are no eggs in this dish. If you have an egg allergy, you can eat this. If you have an egg allergy, wouldn't you also have a chicken allergy? No. If you have an egg allergy, are you on keto? There are people that are vegan and do keto. Seems a little less restrictive. Vegan? It's a lot of coconuts. I suppose that's fair. Lots of coconuts. Lots of wink ice cream. <laughs> If you haven't seen our Wink ice cream tasting video, you should check that out. All right, we got a nice little ball of cheese here. We are going to dispose of, oh, hey, more cheese. We're disposing of cheese? No. Oh. We're disposing of one glove. I only need one glove from here on out. So I don't want to deal with cleaning the pan after this, so I've put some parchment paper down in here. Otherwise, I would recommend spraying the pan with some avocado spray avocado oil spray or some coconut oil spray or butter or buy a silicone cake pan mold. or a silicone mold all right so then what you do is you put half of the mixture in the <coughs> bottom so you're going to want to push this down into the pan make sure you're getting coverage all the way across and in all four corners and I'm just trying to kind of flatten it out as best I can so it bakes evenly. Kind of like that. <laughs> What's funny, Stacy? Next up, you make a groove down the center of the meat. <laughs> Let's see that groove. I can't do it without. Stacy's new groove. Okay, so it needs to fit all that cheese, so this feels so wrong. <laughs> You're making butt cheeks. Oh, goodness. I guess that's a groove. 
I mean, there's a well there. Sure. We'll go with that. So I'm thinking I prematurely got rid of my other glove because now this goes into the groove. So I'm kind of, I'm going to Play-Doh it a little bit and try to make it a little longer. That's what he said. I swear to God, these things just come out of my mouth. I don't even think about it. Um. <laughs> All right, let's let's just get this in here. I, I did a pretty good job, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty good groove. Yeah. And then we put the other half of our meat on top. All right. So I kind of had that smoothed out. And I press. You're supposed to press it down into the bottom layer, so I'm pushing on top of it <laughs> to press it down. This is a very, this is a very wrong video, very the wrong recipe. All right, now it goes into your 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. So next step after you take it out of the oven after the first 20 minutes, you're gonna put on another half a cup of mozzarella cheese, sprinkle that on top. Half a cup of the shredded Parmesan cheese. Then another quarter cup of the marinara sauce. We're just gonna kind of plop that on there. That's not plopping very well. Then we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. First one is done. Oh, it's really far back in there. That's what she said. Well, it looks pretty good. It's like it's got some sort of weird like globular things. Yeah. Okay, so I've let these cool on a wire rack for between five and ten minutes. I'm sure this is probably not going to be my best <coughs> idea. <laughs> nope. But we're going to take this out of here. I have some we'll do it that way. paper towel under it. <gasps> what? To catch. Ew. There's gonna oh. be a ton of grease. Yep, there's a lot more than I thought there was. Ah! This isn't working out. Well, shoot. Why has it gotta be greasy? Because it's gotta go somewhere. I have a better idea. Let's do it this way. Hang on, I gotta zoom in on this shit. This is shit. This is genius work right here. So that didn't work. Let's try this. Don't don't go the Oh my god, this is heavy. Ha. So how many servings is that? This is eight servings. Hey, you know what? I can just slice it right here too. That was the idea. No, with this. But I would use a knife. I've never used this knife before, so I'm using it now. That's not a knife, that is a cleaver. It's got a sharp edge. It's a knife. I almost touched it too. I was almost like, hey, no. Okay, so this can get cut into eight slices and each slice, am I at the bottom? Yep. Each slice is about four net carbs. It gets quite a edge to it or something. Oh, because it's stuffed. I forgot about that. All right. There you go. Stuffed chicken Parmesan meatloaf. Stuffed chicken Parmesan meatloaf. I don't know what to call it. Stuffed something. I call it dinner. Yeah. Let's eat. I'm, I'm ready to try this though. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. <laughs> yes, so we had to dose it up with a little red pepper flakes because, well, you know, Stacy doesn't add any spice to anything. Stacy also, well, also made us some breadsticks. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now these breadsticks were made with the same dough that we used for the stromboli. I brushed the breadsticks Ooh. when they were almost done. I brushed the melted butter and garlic powder and then threw on some shredded Parmesan cheese. So they have a little bit of the Little Caesars to them. Wait, wait, there's another thing you gotta see. 
This was Stacy's original one. They're good. I like them. Tastes like. Let trouble. us know in the comments if you think that she's crazy, because I do. Well, it's still cheese. Everybody knows that she's crazy. <laughs> it's just a little overdone. A little? These were a lot thinner. A little? Yeah. I believe Mason's description was quite accurate. They taste like styrofoam. Birch yeah. styrofoam. With, <laughs> che with cheese sprinkled on top. <laughs> I think it's good. I think you're crazy. What was that? I think it's good. I can't see you. Sorry, I didn't quite understand it's in a napkin. <laughs> Whatever. There's a flavor in it. It's the Italian seasoning. That's so what I'm right Yes, I'm not a huge fan of oregano or Italian seasoning because it's very... Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on. It's Before, overpowering. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. No. Before you say it, let me guess. I, I, I... No, it doesn't taste like soap. It's just <gasps> overpowering. It doesn't taste like soap. Overpowering. That's what the parsley is for. <laughs> Suck it, Nate. <clears throat> the meatloaf is very moist. At first I thought it was very dry. It was because I had the end piece. But the... Pieces in the middle are actually extremely moist. Very good. I like the cheese mixture in the middle. So. It's pretty yummy. I just got a crunchy bit. What's the crunchy bits in this meatloaf? It's probably red pepper flakes. Mm, I don't know. But it's cartilage. So, are we gonna rate? Sure. sure. I have a firm thumbs up, even with the extra oregano that was in here. Really? Yep. How much of that is because there's no actual onions in it? <clears throat> the whole thing. I think it was good. Bread sticks are good too. Especially the ones that aren't charred. I agree. We finished our game. What did we play? Tapestry. Tapestry. <laughs> it is by Stonemeyer Games. That is correct. Stonemeyer. Stonemeyer. Um, who also did Wingspan that we played previously. Yes. What else have we played that we they make? Viticulture. Viticulture. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's making a lot more sense all of a sudden. Now I understand why Greg loses. <laughs> it kind of fell into the same thing. I didn't understand that the last turn I wasn't going to be able to do another turn. See, really, like, basically, this comes what? down to the fault of the explainer. It's all my fault. <laughs> no, no. I'll take the responsibility. No, no. It's if fine. If I can understand it. You didn't! That's the whole he point! Should... You were just freaking flying by to like, oh, I, I wanted to do this. I don't have any more of these houses. How the hell is this going to work? No, no. That's what pisses me off is when someone who has no plan. I did have a plan. Wins. To do the no, that, that's, that, yeah, that's not a plan. Well, obviously, anyway. I won. Yeah. Yeah. She's not really. I won. Player. Only by what, low? Like seven points? Seven points. Seven points. Anyway, seven. this was a pretty fun game, and I like all the little buildings. Yeah, buildings are stupid. I like them. <laughs> the detail is really nice in these. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time. Don't forget to stay keto. We'll see ya. Did you format? Yes. That's, that should be the opening right there. Did you format? Do you format? Okay. No more pointing. I point too much. I do this. Finger guns. That's right. I feel like something horribly wrong is going on with this glove. Did you put it on backwards? Where is it for left hands only? <laughs> um not sure if you're serious or not. Next up. Ah, I did finger guns again. Nah. And what does it smell like? It smells like soap. Really? Yes. <laughs> it's just a different type of soap than oh, the cilantro. Oh, sort of cucumber lemon. I don't know. It's just, it smells soapy. It always smells not, soapy. Not plumeria? No. You know what though? <laughs> the chives don't smell soapy. I got the pan in the frame. Okay. And then you just moved it. Oh, sorry. Now you moved it again. You have a cheese penis in between the chicken <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Wanna see Nate? <laughs> Shall we put it this way? <laughs> wow. You a gold star. <laughs> I feel like I have one of those shakers from Pizza Hut just going in my mouth. 
That was very dirty of you right there. <laughs> Only because you took it that way. I missed it. How did you do it? Like this. Oh! <laughs> she did the, uh... <laughs> How'd that go? But... <laughs> As opposed to the, like, the shaker. Mm -hmm. You know? She... <laughs> All music has a repetitive to it. So you don't like doll music now? Oh my god! Please leave it Stacy's hate down below. This will never make it in the video. <laughs> that look might know. You forgot to sign out, crazy. I was trying to, but you got all grumpy. <laughs> I am not grumpy!